Good morning children. Now we shall learn about angles. So, what is an angle? This is Aman and this is Anand. One day Aman and Anand tried to make colorful kites and these are their kites. This is Aman's kite and this is Anand's kite. But Anand's kite is looking a little different and it wouldn't fly properly. If we see both the kites have equal number of sides. 1, 2, 3, 4 here to 1, 2, 3, 4. Then what is the difference? If we see the corners of the kites you will see the corners are different. Now let us open a story book. When we open the book, then what do we see? We are turning the cover page to open the book. Look, as we turn the book open, the turn between the cover page and the book increases. And if we look from this view, the cover page looks like a straight line. And the first page after the cover page two looks like a straight line and these two straight lines meet at a point. So when we are opening the book the turn between these two straight lines meeting at a point increases. See here they are meeting at this point and the turn is this much here and if we further open the book what happens? The turn has increased. See, compared to this, the turn has increased as we open the book further. So, what do you understand? When two lines meet each other at a point, they form an angle. We can also say that the angle is amount of turn between the two straight lines which meet at a point. So, here these are the two lines. They meet here and this is the amount of turn or the angle formed between these two straight lines. Now coming back to the kite, let us see why these two kites are different. So these are the two lines and they meet at this point. And what is the angle? This is the angle made by these two lines by meeting here. Now coming to Anand's kite, these are the two lines and they meet at this point which is the corner of the kite. And what is the angle here? This is the angle here made by these two lines which meet at a point. Do you see any difference between these two angles? Yes, they are different. And how? The turn here between the two lines is greater or the angle between these two lines is greater. So what do you understand? Same way the angle here also at this corner is greater as compared to the angle here in Aman's kite. So you can say difference of angle can make huge difference in the shapes and because of angle only these two kites have different shapes. Now in this kite these two are the lines they meet here and this is the angle formed. So the point where the two lines meet is called the vertex. So you can say the point where the two straight lines meet to make an angle is called vertex. Same way these two lines are also making an angle. See and where do they meet? They meet at this point. So this point is also the vertex. Understood? Now these two straight lines meet at this point and make an angle. So the line segments AB and AC which meet at a point and make an angle are called the arms of the angle. So line segment AB and AC are called 
the arms of the angle understood and what is an angle the measure of the angle is equal to the turn between the two arms that form the angle so this is the angle made by these two lines now what is the unit of angle the unit of angle is degree and how is it written let us see with an example here the two lines are at 90 degrees or at right angles now how do we write 90 degrees see 90 degrees is written as 90 with a small circle put on the topmost side the right side and it is on the topmost side so 90 degrees is written as 90 and a small circle on the rightmost top side so let us reiterate what is an angle we can say the angle is formed when two lines meet at a point and the amount of turn between these two lines is called the angle so now you know what is an angle that's all for now bye bye children